It's um, tomorrow, you know. What is? Another week's rent tomorrow. I wasn't quite sure my husband made it clear. Rent is paid in advance. He made it clear. You've made it sure. Well, that's all right. I didn't tell John. Do you know what it means? I will. Absent without leave. Yes, yes, I do know. I've done some supper. Would you like some? I need someone to open the wine. No, that was great. There's a bit more. Oh, no, thanks. Just like my mother used to make. She a good cook? Well, not bad. She never really had her time. Does she work? Well, looking after the kids, you know. Got brothers? Four brothers and two sisters. It's a big family. But they're not small. What sort of ages are they? Six to fifteen. Ah, so you're the eldest? That's right. Why the gap after your mother had you? I think my dad was a bit incapacitated by the drink for a few years. He tried out eventually. Not that I saw much of him. I spent most of my time in the air raid shelter in our backyard. The house is always crammed, see? You know, relations, kids. It was all right sometimes, but... Well, there was never any peace. By the time I got a full tin, it was really getting on my nerves. I had to share a bedroom with my brother, see? I eventually took to, took to sleeping on a sofa. What did you do in the evenings? Well, there was this calf. He used to go down there with the lads, you know. Until they closed it down. We seem to get most things closed down. There must have been other things, youth clubs. No, I didn't trust them. They're run by adults, see. Now, I'd better go scratch a few cars and smash a few shop windows. What was the point? You weren't gaining anything? I don't know. We we're bored, I suppose. You see, you look ahead, and what is there? It's just work and booze. You know you haven't got the qualification. You've got to get something out of life, haven't you? Did you like school? Hey, do you want some more wine? Oh, just a drop. No, I, I hated school. I skived off most of the time. Mm. Bad homes make bad pupils. Oh, it wasn't a bad home. Oh. Oh, don't you see? The system moves people who need help further away from that house. Did you ever try and find out what was going on? Find out where you could learn some skill? No. Well, there are people. And it's the ones who need those people most who don't make contact. You should meet Sally. Why? She's a friend of mine doing sociology. Well, it wasn't all that bad. <laughs> I mean, me dad boozed, yeah, but, but he never belted me, Mum. Oh, we never went hungry. Yeah, but with more time and more teachers, something could be done. Yeah, well, it, well, there's not a lot you can do. If you stop trying to achieve things, you might as well be dead, and you're intelligent enough to know that. <laughs> oh, child. I've got this kid brother. Fifteen years. I see him doing all the things that I did. He's on probation now. How do you feel about that? Oh, I could smash his young head in. No, I mean, he's got old levels as well. I mean, if he stayed on at school another year, he could get some more. He might even go to university. You like that? It'd be nice to have one brain box in the family. Why did you go away, Wal? Uh, it's a long story. All right, then. Why did you join up? You don't give up, you, do you? <laughs> go on, I'm interested. Well... Seemed like a good idea at the time. Join the army. Man's life in the professionals. All I used to do of an evening was go down to boozer with me mates. Well, one day I'd, I'd had enough, see? There were two things I wanted to do. Jump out of an aeroplane and ride a horse. Well, the army seemed the best place. Why did you want to ride? Well, I could handle 
motorboat thing. I just wanted to see if I could handle a horse. You know, something you could talk to, control with skill. Mm. But what about the fighting bit? Being hurt and getting killed? Well, I never thought about that, did I? Oh, you must have later on. Well, it's an occupational hazard, isn't it? What was it like when you started? Well, you do 15 weeks basic training to start with. You know, you learn drill marching and that for the first time. <laughs> it's a real laugh, is that? Everyone doing the same thing at the same time. And somebody gives them the back turn and half of them end up nose to nose. Oh, it all sounds terrible. Oh, we had some great laughs. Hey, there was this one bloke there. Six foot ten he was. Well, you see, the only regulation pace is 30 inches. Mm -hmm. Well, this bloke, he had these long legs, see. He couldn't do nothing under 40 inches. Well, one night, I was in the land of Nod, and I, I heard this noise. There was a, a small drill square round the back line. And I went to the window, <laughs> and there was a big fella w with a broom handle tight to either wrist. And, and a sergeant major on one end, and, and a last corporal on the other. And they were marching him round, holding him back. They was at it all night. Did he get better? No, he still took a 40 in stride. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what happened after training? Well, I had a bit of bad luck with a parachute business. I'd done all the training and everything. I jumped off the practice jumps. But the medical discovered a bit of weakness in the left knee. I wasn't suitable material. I could have cried. I was suitable enough to be sent out to Northern Ireland, I wasn't I? Oh yeah, I was out there before you could say Jack Flash. What was it like? There was... There was this 15-year-old boy I saw. They said he had a mental age of about 10. I couldn't actually swear to the factual truth of that because I never spoke to the boy. I merely uh, observed his body. He'd been shot in the back of the head at point blank range. It's a terrible mess. The IRA had got hold of him. It's revenge for something they said he'd done. I remember thinking at the time that but apart from his head, the rest of him was perfectly all right. I had a great dislike of the IRA. And then again, towards the end of my tour in Northern Ireland, I was around when another thing happened. This time it was a man and his wife, about 50 years of age. Well, when, I, when I got there, they were just lying on the pavement, quite neatly. Looked as though they were sunbathing with their clothes on. They was covered in holes. Like Bonnie and Clyde. They'd been shot because they were Catholics. No other reason. So. So what did you think then? Well, it was different then. All that, all that loose energy inside. Wanting to scratch cars and to smash windows. All that had gone. What did you want to do? Smash my brother's head if he didn't pull himself together. Oh, hell, I'm sorry. Why? I didn't mean to come out with all that. There's no need to be sorry. I look at all the shop. Oh, no, it's not much. Listen, it's nice of you to have me around. Oh, do you, do you know, I feel really scruffy. Oh, that's a good bottle of wine. Oh, it was plunk, really. How do you get jobs? Oh, just go in and ask, see if there's anything going. Yeah, but you haven't got an insurance card, have you? Well, you can get jobs washing up and on a building site, sir. But you can't go on like that forever. Well, nobody goes on forever. Uh. Hey, so you're going to be an architect, eh? Hmm, I hope. I'd like to see some of your buildings. <laughs> oh, if there are any. 
I like the old stuff best myself, you know. Give me a Victorian house to your modern pebble. That's any day. Oh, it's a mucky world. It's pornography everywhere. Exploitation. And then pop festivals. Oh, disgusting. And that noise. And drugs. Ah, they all be lined up against the wall and shut. <laughs> hey, did I tell you about my idea? No. You tell me about your idea. Well, I've had this idea of getting a group of people together in a field. Hey, this isn't going to be dirty, is it? Who? Well, Arnie, I, I don't like dirty things, see? <laughs> no, it's not dirty. Well, are you sure now? Because, well, well my, my granny doesn't like it either. Your granny's not you. <laughs> oh, well, you don't know my granny. My granny gets into the life. <laughs> give us a chance. Well, I'm not stopping you. <clears throat> so, you get these people in this field, and you start from scratch. Everyone builds their own thing. Builds their own thing? That's it. Everybody gets a room of their own. An acre for every person, a room and grass for each individual. Oh, well, I'm in. You'll need workers. Now, we don't want buildings with lifts, swallowing people and hoisting them up 20 floors. That's not natural. Nah. You never get it off the ground. Why not? An acre of land for every person. You don't think that's on? No. Nah. Frank Lloyd Wright to you. Christopher Wren to you. Le Corbusier. Harold Wilson. Delacroix. Bessie Smith. Raphael. Uh, Alex Walsh. Shakespeare. Uh, Led Zeppelin. Genghis Khan. Uh, Mothers of Invention. Chaucer. Uh, Rolling Stones. Leonardo. Be Purple. <laughs> Columbus. Uh, Pink Floyd. Uh, Tolstoy. Connie Rebel. <laughs> uh, Stephen Wolf. Status Quo. <laughs> Kathy Stobart, Bruce Turner, <laughs> jump in a kiddie ball, Johnny Barnes, great Irene. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. You win, you win. I give in. <laughs> Did you ever get to ride your horses? Yeah, in a manner of speaking. There was this, there was this officer, see, and uh, well, he did a lot of competition riding, and he asked me if I'd like to be his groom. Well, bags are riding in that, he said, exercising the horses. Well, we went show jumping and, and cross country, dressage, the lot, you know. We used to work round the clock on that horse. And then one day, I, I realised that he was getting all the glory. The officer. He didn't even notice me. But there I was, trying to work out who I was, and I just felt like I was disappearing. <laughs> like to any senior, you're, you're a tool to do a job, a number. I thought that officer was a mate, but you don't have mates with officers. To him, I was just a fag end, an empty chair, just something stuck in his line of vision, no interest. So, do you know what I did? No. Well, one night, I left his saddle loose, see? And when he got into the ring, mm -hmm. he got to the first fence. He <laughs> fell off. <laughs> I don't think he saw the jokes on that. <laughs> Mind you, I didn't stick around to find out. How long have you been absent? Over the 28 days now. Hmm? Oh, what? Well, under 28 days, you, you can go back and try to explain. Over 28 days, well, instead of sending a friendly copper around, they send a couple of the Mafia. Mafia? Yeah, MPs, military police. They might send a copper to hold on to you till they got there. And then? Well, then they'd put you in prison for a bit. Military prison. Tony, you can't stay hidden forever. I can try. Oh. Perhaps you ought to give yourself up. I think I'm cut out for the no. army, do No, but you can't just waste your life running, doing odd jobs. What future is there? You'll probably get mixed up with some gang and involved in crime or something. I can't look after myself. Yeah, but you haven't thought ahead. What's the point? You were bored in that factory, right? The money was good. Yeah, but if you had thought ahead, 
You've got yourself a less well-paid job with a better future. With a job like that, you're bound to get apathetic, and so the circle goes on. Oh, it will be gay at the like the others now. What others? Teachers, employers, the police. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to interfere. It's your life. Well, it's just the way you've been brought up. Yes. We all... We all talk too much in our crowd. We don't actually do anything, though, to help. I'll better be going. This is getting a bit late. Look, thanks for the meal and everything. Oh, it's nothing special. Oh, no, it was good. Really, it was. Uh, you must come again sometime when I've got a proper cooker. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You're thinking of moving then, are you? Oh, we'll be here forever. Big kitchen. What? When you get your cooking, we have a big kitchen. Yeah, well. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Oh, you mean? Do you mean you're sorry? You kissed me. Oh no. I... Well, then why are you sorry? Are you going to help me wash up? Not now. Yeah. We're not going to bed with all these dirty dishes everywhere. I'll get some water. Are you working today? Just this morning, then I collect my money. And next week you're back at your polytechnic, doing your architecture. <laughs> That's it. Would you like to go out tonight? To the fix or somewhere? Have you got any money? I can get some. Well, perhaps you'd better let me give you some. Talk soft, I can get money. All right, I'd better go. Hey. What? Thanks. What for? <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you. Hello, Mark. Yeah. Listen, did, did you get the letter with the money? Hey? What do you mean you can't pay the rent? Gone off? Gone off where? Has he been boozing again? Into, into care? Who said? Who said the kids had to go into care? The, wel the welfare. It's none of their damn business if the house is dead. Look, I'll be, I'll be right there. Yeah, straight away. Don't worry, I'll get the money.
Who are you? Oh, a police officer. Oh, yeah. There's a bike outside the house. Yeah? Straddled across the pavement, rather a dangerous manner. Oh, yeah. And the tax is out of date. Don't know nothing about it. You haven't got your license handy, have you? It's nothing to do with me, mate. Do you mean you didn't know about the tax being out of date? I don't know nothing about a bike. Do you mean you didn't realise when you nicked it? You'll have to prove that one. <laughs> we had a phone call from Her Majesty's Gunners. They asked if we'd just nip round in a laundry for a few minutes. Well, why would they do a thing like that? Well, because you're AWOL, that's why. Give us, give us a break, mate. mate. Just 24 hours. Me mum's in trouble, see? Me dad's left time and they're going to put the kids in care. I've got to get home. Well, you lads can certainly think them up, can't you, eh? Why didn't you apply for compassionate leave? The army would have let you go, wouldn't they? I'm not in the bloody army. Oh, I see. What's this, then? Scotch mist. Get dressed. All right, so I was wrong. Anyone can make a mistake. What's going on up there? I don't know. Police in the house. We've never had police in this house before. Just one policeman. Now the army about to arrive on the doorstep. That's not the whole army. At least it didn't do any damage. You'll have to give it back. What? It's ten pounds. What ten pounds? Against breakages. You'll have to give it back to him. Well... We don't know he didn't break anything. Hello, kid. All right, my honey. Yeah. See what's happened? The law. Hey, listen. When you start your thing in the field, I'm in, okay? Thank you very much, miss. You. Oh. Well, you really make mistakes for some people. But sometimes you think you found someone who's different. You're not. Come on. Tommy, I, I had to phone them to stop you running. You don't have to go on being a soldier, but you do have to be strong enough to tell people, to face them. You have to go back for your own sake, to get it sorted out and to start again. There was no one else, Tony. No one else to help you. Can't let the Frank Lloyd ride. See you, kid. 